Coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Josh Stay Down Watson. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight he wears black and gold. He stands six feet five inches tall. His official weight, 295.6 pounds. He is an MMA veteran of 13 fights, holds an undefeated pro boxing record at 2-0, and tonight makes his highly anticipated BKFC debut. Here is the NFL and MMA star fighting out of Delray Beach, Florida, Greg Prince of War, Hardy Jr. And our referee in charge of the action, Big Dan Mergliana. Josh Watson said, I want a very fast start. I have to make Greg Hardy feel my power. That will slow him down. Call the lines in. Ready? Ready? Buckle up. Round number one. Fast start from Josh Watson off the scratch line. He's in the yellow and black trucks. Greg Hardy in the black and yellow trucks. There's the jab from Hardy on the reset after the explosive start from Watson off the scratch. You could tell that got his attention right away. And now on the outside with the jab. Again, Hardy six foot five to Watson six foot. Jabs from Watson looking for the entry. Hardy on the outside with the hook jab. On the feint. Little reaction, a big reaction from Watson. Big on the uppercut. Watson swinging back with the left hook. And both guys' chins have impressed me already, Sean. 40 seconds gone, round number one of this heavyweight bout. Feint from Josh Watson. The long, hard jab from Greg Hardy. Stiff jab on the counter as Watson missed the lead left hook. Hardy's jab is on point. That's a push down. Ruled as such correctly by referee Dan Morgliata, officially a slip. Uh, go, go for him now, right? Ready? And I'd like to see a lot of these fights right here from Greg Hardy. He's really getting a reaction from Watson, which he has to. And the right hand from Hardy. Hardy again with the jab. Some circling to the outside. Fain's definitely working for Hardy to draw big reactions continually from Josh Watson. He has to because if he doesn't react, those jabs are going to do very quickly. That left hook getting through from Josh Watson now into the clinch. Right, clean, no strikes, no strikes. Not Good job, easy Ready? against Muscle Greg up. Hardy. <laughs> he drew the immediate separation from Dan Murgliata. Hardy staying long off the one. There is the one, that long sharpshooter jab. Josh Watson said he would not be a terrible. That's that left hook, and that is ruled a knockdown by Dan Bergliotta, saying that the ring rope supported the falling Greg Hardy. And he's right out on that, and that's what we talked about. That power of Watson is there. If he hits you, he is going to hurt you. Mandatory aid from Bergliotta to Hardy. That is the end of round one, and presumably that is a 10-8 round number one. But that's, that's a nasty cut over the eye of Watson right there. Listen to me. Stop pulling back, okay? Stop pulling because back. Because what, a, what a fight we have going on right here, Sean. Right from the very beginning, look at that. Watson landed a couple good punches right there, and he really got the attention of Hardy right now. Into the round, there's a left hand. Boom! All it takes, you hit somebody with that kind of power, they're going down. Great call by the referee. The ropes definitely stop that knockdown from happening. The rule the same in bare knuckle fighting as it is in professional boxing. If the referee deems that any of the ring ropes they supported the fighter from falling and touching the canvas on a legal strike to a legal target, it should be ruled a knockdown. That's the interpretation, I believe, correctly, as you do too, Chris, from Dan Mergliata. So ruled a knockdown. And no real protest from Greg Hardy. Now oh, we're time out. Look at that nasty gas. They're going to stop it, I think. No, let it go. Yes. Big cheer from this sold-out Albuquerque crowd. Round number two. And my guess, you're going to see a sense of urgency from Watson right there. He knows he's got a bad cut. He might have to end his right now. Oh! On the counter right hand. Down goes Greg Hardy flat on his back. Here comes the take count from Mergliotta. Whoa! Josh 
Swanson has scored the victory of his life. And just, just like that, he thought he was going to get the fight stopped. I think a lot of people did. Unbelievable. He had that sense of urgency. He landed that big punch. Wow. He was right, Sean. He said he's not the B side. He's the A side. He's going to come out here and shock everybody, and he did so. Josh Watson said, I am not intimidated. Greg Hardy will fold when he feels my power. So fights like this, this is why we're getting lots of fight, fight fans and fight people. We got great UFC people, Josh Burton, we got the great John Fitz, Mark Matoy. These guys are all watching this sport and loving it. I'm talking with them. They just love what we got going on here, as do I. There are simply no soft landings from David Feldman and BKFC. I mean, it hardly looked phenomenal at times, but just you can't make mistakes like that. Do a hook. Got hit with the left hand, that was it. You cannot take a punch from 282 pound Josh Watson. Hardy was going down on the left hook, and then the presence of mind, Watson still lands the right hand. I mean, and, you know, Watson grabbed victory from the jaws of defeat right there with that cut. I'm surprised they didn't stop it. I'm so glad they didn't because look what happened. You have to know when you got people like this with this kind of power, all it takes is one punch and to prove it right there. I just called it an upset. The fight world will call it an upset. Josh Watson will absolutely not call this an upset.